What's up, friends? My name is Miranda. This is another episode of Miranda in the Wild, and we are going on a cross-country skiing adventure extravaganza. Look at this place, it's amazing! Cross-country? More like cross fun tree. Look at you, you beautiful girl. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Did we totally misjudge this? Have we gone up enough? We are losing light. I'm sorry to get kind of tired. What the fudge? Woohoo! <laughs> I love that! Is it fair to call this an extravaganza? This is my show, gosh darn! So I'm out here in the in Winthrop, which is the like North Cascades area in Washington, and we are going on a hut to hut cross country ski trip. I wanted to do more cross country skiing this year, and I found that there are these huts out here in the Metau Valley where you can actually cross country ski to a hut and then spend the night there. I am not a winter sports person and I get cold really easily. Although right now this fire is really hot and I'm sweating. <laughs> Cross country skiing is actually easier than snowshoeing. Not that the skill is easier because snowshoeing is just like walking. You have to like pick up this big heavy thing and then you put it down and then you pick it up and then you put it down. It's like walking, but with heavy shoes. But with cross country skiing, you're just sliding along. You're literally just doing the shuffle. You're just shuffling. It's still challenging, you know, it still like, gets your heart rate up. It still is actually really good as far as like exercise goes. But then going downhills, you can just go zoom down the hill. I don't know if that explains why it's fun. I don't know, it's really hard to explain why it's fun. It's just really fun. <laughs> I'm no good at it, but you don't have to be good at it. Maybe that's what makes it so fun, is that you don't have to be good to enjoy cross country skiing. With badminton, like you don't have to be good to enjoy hitting around a ball that's wearing a skirt. You can just like do it and have fun. And that's how cross country skiing is. Plus there's like people take their dogs out there. Everyone's really nice, it's, like really pretty. People are like friendly. Hot take. I kind of feel like downhill skiing like hogs all of the glory. I forgot something really important. Oh. The best thing about cross country skiing is that the boots are really warm. That's the best thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get my backpack and get my dog all set to go and I will see you all at the trailhead. I've been practicing my wink, was it good? <laughs> all right, come on. Good girl. If they really start to bug you, we'll just take them off, it's okay. Oh, is that one bugging you? I got you. Come here, pup. Come here, come here. I got it. Hey, check it. How's that? Is that better? <sighs> Where did I put the car key? I have car key. Got it. We finally made it to the ski trailhead, but it's been a bit of a stressful adventure to get here. The car that I was driving got stuck, then it was sliding all over the place. We had some, some local people help us out, which was really great. Because of that, we were getting a much later start than we intended to, and so the sun is going down. So we're gonna try and get to the hut before, I guess, dark. This is where we're going, up that hill. Uh, we're all really cold right now because it's cold outside, so we're gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> this poop smells exactly like poop. Okay. Boom! That was so good! <laughs> oh, no. This is another way to do it. Like a professional. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go now because we're running out of time. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Ah! <sighs> All right, all good. No, come on. This way, this way. Oh, attack of the dog. Oh, look at you, you beautiful girl. So it's about 2.30 now and we just started out. You can see the parking lot that we came from. Uh, and gosh, it looks like we probably only have another like two hours of sunlight and we have not that far to go. I think like a mile and a half. I can feel myself like being a little bit anxious. <laughs> but just look at this view. I mean, this is incredible. <laughs> hi, hi. So this is part of cross country skiing that's really hard, which is the going uphill. It is only worthwhile to go up this hill because then I get to come down this hill. I really oversold these boots because my feet are cold. Uh, I was expecting them to be really warm and toasty. Although to be fair, that could be because we spent 30 minutes standing in the snow trying to dig my car out. So that's really not these boots fault. I kind of, ah! <laughs> I fell just standing here. I think I stepped on my ski, I don't know. Let's see an instant replay to figure out what happened to cause that fall. I kinda 
<laughs> we just came up a really big hill and I think my toes are finally warming up. We're coming up on a really gorgeous part of the trail, so let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at this place, it's amazing! This is the best. I don't even have words for this. Just look at it. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? Nala, come here. What are you doing? Nala, do you... Hey, what are you... Are you stuck? Okay. How was it? Was that worth it? Are you glad you did that? All right. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's like poop right here. Did you fart? I did not fart. Did you fart, doggo? Bah. Excuse me. Oh, look at the snow. It looks like, like sparkly glitter. Yeah. Rainer? Yeah. That wasn't a turn back there, was it? Because we turn at some point, don't we? Is that right? Did we totally misjudge this? Oh, 3.6 miles. Oh, it's 3.6 kilom. Oh. Yeah. Balls. I mean, bugger. <laughs> Bananas. It's 2.2 miles. Great. Onward and upward. I think we're headed in the right direction. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> ah! So, as it turns out, oop, wait, oop. <laughs> we are officially halfway. Uh, it's only taken us about half an hour or, that's not true, about an hour to get up to here. And so we have about a mile left to go before we get to the hut, which is great because the sun's going to set in about an hour. We're really looking forward to seeing sunset up at that hut. This is just so incredible. This is the key content, is me climbing this hill. I'm starting to get kind of tired. You know, it's just kind of a weird like motion, the sliding. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like kind of like any activity, it's like the first time really back after a year, my like, body kind of hurts. <laughs> but yeah, I feel good. I feel warm, I feel sweaty, and my pits are probably drenched. It doesn't help that this is the third day I'm wearing these clothes. All right, onward and upward, still, still upward. God, we've gone up enough. So before we totally lose light, I realized I forgot to demonstrate the kick, kick, glide. So while I'm not an instructor, I'm just gonna demonstrate what that looks like. So here we go. So kick, kick, glide, kick, kick, glide. Woo! Kick, kick, glide. Cross country, more like cross fun tree. Cross country ski, more like cross country wee. Cross country, more like boss country. Okay. Seriously, it's getting dark, so we are going to get to the hut. See you there. <laughs> it is for sure getting dark. We're bound to be almost there. Yay! Sign! Awesome! Let's see here. We are here. We still have to go this way and then down to the grizzly hut. To the grizzly hut is 0.4 miles. It still feels like a lot of miles considering the whole thing is like two miles. Uh, and we are losing light. And I'm feeling a little bit nervous about that because I actually really don't like being, I don't like the dark. I don't like being caught in the dark. And if I can avoid being out in the woods in the night when I'm not like in a cozy tent, I don't, I would like to do that. 
Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're finally making our turn and then it should just be another like less than half a mile until we get to the huts. Ah! <laughs> Dog's not scared. All right, another sign. You are here, okay. So now we're there, we just did this stretch. It still says 0.4 miles. What the fudge? There's no way that that was, okay, let's go. Let's go, let's get there. So hopefully we get there soon enough. I have a really nice blister forming on my heel that I'm excited to look at. And I mean that sincerely, that wasn't sarcastic. I actually am excited to look at this blister. I wrote a song about it, but I'm not gonna sing it for you. I have a blister forming on my heel. I think we're coming close to the hut. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're here. Oh my gosh, that's it. We made it, doggo. And it's still a little bit light outside. All my fears were for naught. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Get it. Time to go inside and get warm. Right. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't turn the light on. There's no lights. Where's my headlamp so you can see? Oh, there are lights. Okay, all right, where are the lights? So these are gas lights, but these are on a switch. There. <gasps> Nice! Wow, this is so cozy! Love this. Oh yeah, gas stove, they've got a kettle, they've got pots. That was really eventful. I got a three word. Yes, blister, blister. It doesn't really look like much of a blister. Can you see that? Get it, do you see it? I was actually like hoping for a, a bigger, cooler blister, but it's just a little tiny. Anyway, so we made it to the hut. As you can see, um, it is really cozy in here and really warm and very like easy to forget that it's super cold and snowy outside. I think that one of my big hesitancies to like do something like this in the winter is that I like worry about just being cold the entire time. This like made it really worthwhile, you know? It was like two hours of hard work and then like getting to this cozy cabin and I'm psyched to wake up in the morning and have this beautiful view. <laughs> it was a little bit of a experience getting here and I definitely had a moment where I got really worried about the time. The map says it's 2.2 miles, but I'm not convinced of that. I'm betting it's like three or so miles based on nothing except an inkling and the fact that it took a long time. <laughs> this is really comfortable. It like feels like being in, in like a cabin out here, which is awesome. I mean, we're in a cabin out here, aren't we? <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> My comparisons of things are on point today. Yeah. It's like cross country skiing is badminton, cabin is cabin. This poop smells exactly like poop. Like I think it makes perfect sense. So biggest lesson was leave earlier <laughs> and give myself plenty of time to ski a distance, especially doing something like this that I'm not very familiar with. I know that tomorrow it's gonna take us like half as long to get home because it's just all downhill and it's just gravity. So yeah, so tomorrow we'll leave earlier so there's no stress on time. We're supposed to get some snow tonight, so I'm like looking forward to having fresh snow in the morning. So that's, that's pretty much the night tonight and I will see you all in the morning. I do have to poop though. <laughs> get that adorable, oh yeah, it's so sleepy. She did so well, Nala did so well. All right, go poop. Yes, <laughs> poop. <laughs> Welcome to the Grizzly Hut. This is the 
outhouse. You have a little snow pathway. The door doesn't open any further than this, but this is the bathroom. And um, it smells like poop in there, but that's because people poop in there. I just realized there's like four feet of snow on top of this thing. But yeah, bathroom, there's toilet paper, there's windows, there's a vent, there's a door that closes but doesn't lock. Pretty good bathroom. Okay, enough of this. Let's go ski. <laughs> Hold on, can we just like pause for it? Because I just got my glove stuck in my... <laughs> in my buckle. All right, cool. There we go. So we are all packed up. We loaded all of our stuff onto the snowmobile. So we're going to head out. It is about 1030 now, I think. So hopefully it doesn't take us as long to get out of here as it did to get in. It is sunny. It is icy. It is cold. Let's ski. <laughs> I feel so cool saying that. Hi, Grizzly Hut. Have a good day. First kill's the worst. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Nice. There goes the stuff. Yeah! I did it. Let's go. See y'all down there. All right, one second. We get to a spot where I feel confident. This seems about right. Let's do this. All right, okay. This was good. And we're off. That was very icy. It's like pure ice. Wow, that hill is a little scary. It's so funny, I like was so looking forward to these hills and that very first one I was like, whoa. Wow, my armpits smell so foul. I kind of love it. It's like I've been working hard. I've earned this stench. That wow. house was like pretty stinky. You know, I do think I prefer the stench of outhouse versus the stench of like a fresh poo. Yeah, I'd rather like smell a bunch of people's like com combined poop stench than like one ripe poop. This is the Gun Ranch Trail. So this will take us all the way back to the parking lot where we started. Uh, and I think it's all downhill from here. Later. Hi. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a lake down there. I, I'm gonna take a picture of this. How do you take photos? Huh. Like this. Nice. Nailed it. This is so beautiful. Now what a perfect day. Wow. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, y'all, we're coming up on a big hill. <laughs> that hill was the best <laughs> I loved that that was great that was the payoff I was like really waiting for and I didn't wipe out and I just cruised and I smiled at some people and they told me my dog was cute this has been an awesome morning way faster coming out of here uh, and yeah one more big hill so see you at the trailhead We made it back to the cars. I uh, had an awesome ski down. Hills were wonderful, really fast and beautiful. My toes are warm, my hands are warm, but my face is numb. And now it's time to take off my skis and go get a veggie burger and maybe a cider. See you at the car. Huh. Hold for really beautiful ski away shot. Okay, let's go.
I can still smell my pits. How? Oh, rancid. We did it! Went cross country skiing, did a hut to hut. The whole trip was a success because we made it there and stayed the night and made it home and nobody was seriously injured. Cross country skiing is a really physical activity. Uh, and even though it's not hard, and especially coming back, you're just mostly like committing to the tracks and just bombing down the hill, there's still a lot of exertion involved. And so my body's not used to that kind of movement, even though I've done it before. And I just feel like overall a little bit like sore and tired and happy. Now you gotta stop walking around. <laughs> All right, where were we? I really do think that it is not a super challenging skill to learn. It is hard physically, like it's demanding, but you can just go on a flat slope somewhere, test out some skis. If you do decide to do something like this, a couple things that I learned that I think are valuable is make sure to check your snow conditions and have winter tires on your car. And remember that you do work up a sweat. So pack layers, but start cold because as soon as you head up that hill, you're gonna really start sweating. Yeah, and appreciate the views, check out the huts, say hi to other skiers and don't feel bad when there are people out there who look cooler than you because that's just kind of part of the experience. <laughs> Check your local REI. We do do rentals on cross country skis. Do do. <laughs> Sweet powder day, heading out on the skis. Love that fresh fall. I don't know, I don't know ski lingo. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy cross country skiing. So go do it. But before you do, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the wild. Bye. Wanna say bye? Bits. I'm so sweaty. Like that thing as I thought. Probably. I don't get under boob sweat, but I do get belly sweat. <laughs> this like spot right here, like a Care Bear.